Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another non-typical uh, video for me this time, but I wanted to bring you all along for the ride. I have a friend of mine who was having some trouble with his, uh, his steering on his club car precedent, asked me if I could take a look, and I said sure. So we're going to dive into this together today and uh, see what we can figure out for him. I'm Jeff, welcome to Car Crazy. He wants to drive, but I don't know if his feet will reach the pedals, so that could be a problem. Anyway, uh, here we go. Typical uh, club car precedent. Uh, he uses this to run around his property, does all kinds of chores with it, and he says, man, the steering's been kind of funny, and uh, I said, well, I can fix that. So I got it in the shop here, and the first thing I did was uh, rolled the floor jack under. Watch this wheel when I lift it up. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not supposed to move like that. So, here's what's going on, and hopefully you can see in there. Um, there's no bushing left in there. Um, I actually have uh, a lift kit left over from another project that we were going to do. While we were checking this thing out on the ground, I realized that the uh, rack and pinion is uh, very worn out. The tie rods are worn out. Um, we've got a lot going on on this cart, suspension-wise. Functionality, it works really good for him. Um, rear bushings are completely gone uh, in the back as well. So. This cart has miles and miles and miles and miles uh, running around his property and doing chores and things like that. Loves the cart, works perfect. So uh, I'm actually going to put uh, brand new leaf springs and bushings in. We're going to put a rack and pinion, tie rods, and then we're going to put uh, a lift kit that I had left over from another project and uh, some tires and wheels that I had left over. We're going to get it up off the ground a little bit. He likes to not only use it around the, the blacktop, but uh, kind of off-road. He's got some hills and different things. and. Uh, a lot of a lot of things going on uh, with this cart haul and stuff and whatnot. So we're just going to make it a little more functional for him. So uh, we're going to tear the front end completely apart, uh, get rid of all of uh, everything that's worn. We're going to pull the rack and pinion down, uh, of course tie rods, and uh, rebuild the whole suspension basically, and uh, get the alignment done. And this thing should be way better for him. Alright, now that we got the uh, front bumper and the tires off, it's a lot easier to show you what we've got going on. Normally to do a lift kit, uh, you just pull this three bolts from the steering rack off, kind of move it out of your way so you can get the uh, bolts uh, from the upper control arms out. However, being that I'm doing a rack and pinion and tie rod ends, probably just going to pull everything kind of as one unit. Uh, four bolts on the bottom, the shock bolts, the uh, rack and pinion, and then the upper control arm bolts, you can literally take this whole front suspension right out. So super simple. Um, I'm going to take a look. Looks like the front wheel bearings are good. Hopefully they're not um, stuck on the shafts. I didn't uh, get extra ones in case, but I may have a spare laying around if we do need one. But we'll drop the whole front suspension out. We'll put the whole lift kit suspension in, and this thing is going to be a hundred times better. Alright, took everything off in one big chunk, just like I was saying. Uh, the one wheel bearing came right off, the other one was stuck on a little bit, and uh, I had to hammer it pretty good to get it off. It's, it's okay, um, I do have a spare here, uh, which is, you know, trash, I don't know why I hung on to it. Typical me, hang on to something that's no goods, but probably could really use a set of wheel bearings in the front, which I did not order, but that's an easy enough change, just pop the tires off and pop wheel bearings on. Uh, down the road. So these will get them by for now. We'll get that lift kit mounted up in there and uh, put the new hubs on. Throw some tires on this thing. We'll give her the old Carolina squat. Okay, time for an update. Um, got the lift kit mounted in. Shocks are tight. 
Heim joints are tight. Um, got the new rack in. Just be aware there is a flat spot uh, on that shaft, so it only goes on one way. Got it somewhat eyeballed to center. Steering wheel is center. Not a huge deal because we can make adjustments on that later. Uh, new tie rod ends. Uh, I'm sure one of these is probably uh, left-handed thread, so we'll have to make sure we get the right one on the right side. Got to spin the uh, hubs on. I left the protective uh, covers on there so the threads didn't get boogered up. Um, but yeah, throw the hubs on and tie rod ends and we should be ready to start doing an alignment here shortly. Okay, back in action. Ran out of uh, memory on the card. I, you know, I really need to invest in a bigger memory card. That seems to keep happening. Or I need to keep up with uh, deleting old data off of there. Anyhow, not your concern. Got the tires mounted and um, this is actually really good. I was concerned it might be too much lift for these 20 inch tires but it's actually perfect and uh, we've got the, uh, I think the kids call this the Carolina Squat. They take their big diesel trucks and lift them in the front end and don't lift them in the back and it looks absolutely ridiculous and uh, apparently that's the cool thing but anyway we're gonna we're gonna finish this off we're not gonna leave it like that hopefully that makes you feel better normally what I do when I get these lifts in is I kinda eyeball um, the toe in and out and um, I got it pretty close I gotta do a little bit more adjusting but before I adjust any more toe um, what I do is I take a square and I put it on the floor and you can see I've got a big gap on the top okay so that means that bottom has got to be pulled in a little bit right where I'm pointing with the square. This side's pretty close. Um, in fact, I, so close I might just, uh, well, I guess I got to show you where I'm pointing the camera. So close that I might just leave it and um, just adjust that side. That will in turn um, mess with the toe a little bit. So I'm going to do that first, then see where the toe end is at. They actually recommend the front out just a little bit uh, on these. I try to get them pretty close to straight um, just because that seems to work the best for me. But we're going to play with the alignment a little bit more and then we'll tackle the back. Well, just took it for a test drive uh, before I put the bumper on. It drives fantastic compared to what it was before. There, everything was just so wore out in that front end. Uh, the alignment is pretty much spot on. Steering wheel is centered and straight. That's one thing I was worried about. But uh, yeah, kind of a better look now that I'm facing the sun. Uh, but uh, new steering rack, lift kit. Uh, I've got to tighten down my jam nuts yet. But everything else should be tight and good to go. And uh, I've got to do lug nuts yet and then start on the rear. And uh, this thing was going to look, not only look better, but drive and handle uh, way better than when uh, we pulled it in here this morning. So, uh, button the front end up and we'll start on the back. Now that it's up in the air, uh, yeah, you can see what uh, we're dealing with with these bushings. Unfortunately, uh, one thing I didn't know was that upper bushing is shot as well and I don't think I have any spares here so hopefully we can rob the ones out of the front of that leaf spring and put them in there because um, yeah those are completely gone as well when you're doing these leaf springs or a lift kit keep in mind uh, from your center bolt on your leaf spring the longer part of the spring goes towards the front of the cart, the shorter goes towards the back. Just in case you pull everything down all at once and you get your springs mixed around, or even if you're doing just one side and get your spring mixed around, uh, that would goof you up pretty bad. So make sure the longer part is towards the front. And we're going to throw some heavy duty leaf springs in here, some new bushings, and the rear lift kit. Here we go. Well, there again too, not your traditional video, but it is done, 
and uh, drives and rides a hundred percent better. Uh, I would love to get after this thing and paint these plastics and change the body color over, redo the seats for them, but like I said, it's just not in the budget right now, so this is going to get them by and get them going um, and uh, performing and working a lot better uh, with those heavy springs in the back. It's up a little bit now, but those will settle in over time, and uh, he can haul a lot more weight back there with his seat flipped down or passengers, and uh, this is going to be a lot better off. So thanks for coming along, and uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Car Crazy.